Hello everybody, Epic Mewtwo here. I know you guys have been missing the ASMR news, so uh, here you go. It's very late at night right now. I should have been sleeping a while ago, but I was working on tomorrow's video, and I saw some news for Dokkan pop up, and some very surprising news. Um, you know, usually the news is very unexpected, but this is very unexpected. As you can see here on the screen, we have a brand new Vegeta unit, as well as this brand new Vegeta unit. Um, and let's actually talk about these dudes, right? So as you can see, in Global's release schedule is four cards. Um, these two cards were originally on JP, um, and the schedule is fairly the same, right? Um, these cards came out um, a couple days after Bardock launched their Dokkan Awakenings, just like it's happening here on Global. But these cards obviously did not, and right now these seem like they are Global exclusive. Of course, like I showed you before, the Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta and the other Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta from GT. Here's what's interesting though. So these guys, um, Truth, um, DT, you know, I really like him, pointed out that these guys, we'll go over what they do in a second, seem very similar to the Super Saiyan 3 Chunks and the Super Saiyan 3 Gohan. So um, his kind of theory is that maybe they are meant to replace them on Global, which could definitely be the case, um, you know, so then that way Global gets at least something, you know, kind of reminiscent of those cards. But here's what's in interesting, right? So besides that, um, we do have the SA. I hope that's not loud in your ear. No, it's not playing any sound. Wonderful. All right. Very simple, though. Pretty cool, though. Love the art on both of them, by the way. I will say, fantastic job on that. Love the actual art on those. But here we go, right? So, of course, we have the Awakenings. That's not a, in, that is interesting. But the physical Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. Um, Super Saiyan 3 category physical. So that's what's interesting. So, and... Physical key plus three attack and defense of 50%. That's actually pretty interesting. Super attack, Gallic shooting supreme damage and raises attack for six turns. Passive attack and defense plus 70% minus 40% damage when guard activated. So, of course, um, this guy right here is supposed to be like the trunks. And then we have the tech Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta from GT. Super Saiyan 3 category tech type key plus three HP attack and defense plus 50 percent and as well as the super saiyan 3 category i think i forgot to say that but that's interesting so it's either or i'm assuming i mean obviously if they're tech type and super saiyan 3 would it's not going to stack but nonetheless still very cool um then his super attack gallic on supreme damage and raises defense for three turns and then passive attack and defense plus 70 percent attack um also plus 60 percent um upon being attacked and that raises it for five turns also um this guy said it right here rip gohan teen tanks and trunks coming to global um and then as you can see your activation dates for all these um are june 6th according to dbz spaces schedule and then it's saying the super saiyan 3 category banner will probably go live there so um i'm assuming that how you get these guys i'm not that guy is that you summon on the super saiyan 3 category banner very interesting because global's never actually done something like this before they've introduced a brand new unit like on one of these sort of category banners so very interesting there but well here's what's even more interesting right um a couple of things let's actually just see what that new tweet is okay anyway um so basically it looks like that a bunch of people actually got this guy in their box. As you can see, this is a haul, one of the um, Dokkan Reddit mods. Shout out to my man. He does uh, fantastic work. As you can see, he got him in his box. And a lot of other people on the Reddit are reporting that they got to. This guy said, and he was already SA10 for him. Um, a couple other people are talking about it in posts below. Um, I almost said post Malone. Whoops. Anyway. It looks like um, people got him in their box for free, the GT Vegeta, which is very interesting. Um, not sure why that happened, but, you know, could be anything. And then as you can see here, Zahal said not everyone got him. Um, I did check my global, um, and I did not have him in my box. I made sure. And here's what's interesting. As soon as I was checking my box, bam, goes down for maintenance. I don't even need to show you a specific post. Look at, we got three posts right here talking about unscheduled maintenance. So obviously something's going down um, at, um, you know, they something's going down over at, um, you know, the um, Dokkan HQ because <laughs> something is going wrong here, as you can see. Um, 
very weird. You know, obviously this uh, unscheduled maintenance has something to do with this, this Vegeta being in people's boxes. Obviously, that is not what is supposed to happen. Um, we will find out tomorrow or whenever this maintenance ends, I guess, but I'm just assuming it's going to be tomorrow. Um, if people get to keep this guy in their box, because technically with how the game works, they're not allowed to remove a unit from your box ever. Um, so I'm assuming that they're not going to remove it for the people that got it. Maybe they'll give this guy out as a gift to everyone. And then the people who already had one will just get an extra and kind of get lucky there. Um, but maybe they'll just say it's some kind of glitch or something. I don't know. Cause like, could you imagine getting an LR in your box for free? And they're like, Oh, sorry, it's gone now. <laughs> It'd be terrible. But Regardless, we'll have to see what comes of this. Obviously, you know, they it's also a big loss in terms of monetary value for these two for Bandai. Um, not this guy, because obviously, you know, he still is uh, on the Super Saiyan 3 banner. And of course, people who didn't get him don't have this guy. But, you know, I'm assuming that they were going to release them on the Super Saiyan 3 category banner. And obviously, some people got him for free. So that's not going to make people happy. Um, so we'll have to see what comes of that. But either way, just wanted to talk about these guys. Um, the fact that Bandai really goofed up here is pretty interesting. Um, I thought we were just going to get some information about these units, but then as I was actually, you know, like reading about them and all that stuff, um, Bandai was like, oh, sorry, we goofed up yet again. <laughs> So we'll have to see. Um, I'm mean, there's tons of posts on the subreddit already talking about this. So I'm assuming, um, like Zahal is saying here, um, expect some major compensation. Um, personally, I think that everyone will get a copy of this guy since some players got a copy of him. Um, I'm like praying that you get to keep him if you did get him in your box. Um, and there should be some kind of stone compensation for because for something of this caliber, like there's no way it won't be. Although don't quote me on that because it could not be. Either way, though, catch you in the next video. Hope you enjoyed. And, of course, links to everything in the description below. Have a good two out. Peace.